Okay. <laughs> I can make it happen. Yes, Chris. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can we get a zoom in on that? <laughs> <laughs> We got a Superman announcement. Uh, we we saw the symbol, which we all knew which was coming, which is the Kingdom Come symbol. There was a uh, James Grun put it on Instagram. Grun, Grun, James Grun, James Grun, yeah. James Grun. <laughs> James Grunge. Fuck! I have five strokes a show. Give me a break. Um, That's how many I got in the popcorn bucket. Ah. Hey. Oh. Hey. Thirty-eight seconds. Hey. Wow. Wow. Um, I, I, this looks good. I like. I have no complaints about this. I like it. I like it. I, I have minor complaints. I have a complaint. I got, I I got minor massive complaints. Complaint. I, 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 I actually don't like how it looks too much like Henry Cavill's it, uh, that, that, muted colors. So, the muted colors is the only yes, problem. That's, I wish that's it was my like problem. Bright. Yeah, I but, freaking hate how it has a yellow border around the S. It shouldn't be there. It annoys me. Uh, okay. That, and that, that's those are normal complaints that I will completely no, my, accept. My, my, but my considering is, if this is going down the kingdom come route, because that is the kingdom come S. And yes. if that is where you want to go, are so, we going to get the proper story with Billy Batson? No, of course we're not. We're not going to get that at all. We've had a fucking clown show of Shazam movies. So you think you're going to rehabilitate Shazam? No, no, no. no. I, I, no. They're going to completely and utterly change it. It's going to be a bastardization. They're, they're doing a reverse kingdom come. That's the rumor. And it does Ooh. make sense with the authority. Like being, so the authority is going to come before the Justice League, which is fucking retarded. Absolutely retarded. retarded. I hate it. I <laughs> so retarded. Really hate but uh, there was dope. also a fake image that went around that I thought looked pretty fucking good. I think this, this looks great. dope. I, I have no great. fucking problem with this at all. If anybody bitches about it, including James Gunn, then you shouldn't be making a fucking okay. comic book movie at all. I like the boots. Listen, listen, can I say I like the so undies. James, Gunn, James Gunn's made a response on this. Can I just say, he's the definition of, I do like... I think I've liked all, all of his movies that I've seen, whether he's been director or writer, I have thoroughly enjoyed. I fucking hate his guts, though. He is a... Shut the fuck up, James Gunn. <laughs> yes. Like, the dismissive nature. Guess what? This is what comic book movie fans do. We speculate on dumb shit. Yeah, yeah and, he's supposed, and he's supposed to be one of us, and he's supposed to yeah, understand this, but he doesn't. He clearly I fucking doesn't. stand yeah. this dude, man. I really don't like him. He's a very unlikable person. He made a very kind of dismiss. Like, he's just basically being dismissive. Like, if you remember movies like, especially like Dark Knight Rises, when there was all this. Dude, so of like, much. Oh, my gosh. This, it was out of control, the leaks and yeah. the, the stuff with Bane's voice and everybody going crazy. <laughs> Most of them were right because Bane's voice ended up being not good. It's but memeable. It was at least memeable. A but, bit. but like, can you oh, could you imagine Chris Nolan getting very good for you? <laughs> Could you imagine like Nolan like getting on like Twitter and like yeah. cursing back at people no. in a passive aggressive way? Like shut the fuck up. Like, you know what I mean? James Gunn responded. James Gunn responded to those the same exact way I did, right? Which is like <laughs> because Come Jeremy on. called me and it came up. I'm like, I can't believe people fucking think those are real. Are you fucking retarded? It looked so ridiculously stupid. I think not, it, I not thought that, it looked good. Well, not that the. I like the suit the itself, Photoshop. like the idea, but it looks so Photoshop. Like there's yeah. things about that, the way the cape looks, the way the boots look, the way his arms look, the way his entire body looks. The fact that one guy has his pants on fucking backwards and that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looked completely AI. fake. And so like, it's, I was like, AI, I can't believe yeah. people fucking think this is real. James Gunn, when you're like the leader of the studio and you're heading this thing up and you respond the same way that I would like to somebody, <laughs> probably not a good look. Right. But that's what James Gunn did when that got out there. And like yeah. even where they're shooting that from, it looks like they're in the middle of like an unfinished set with like a broom yeah. standing up with two random. But the judges. point is, like, it people like that though, costume man. more. Like if you get if, if we get another yeah. muted fucking uh Superman costume without the underwear on the outside, fuck that. You know, like you, you shouldn't right. be doing I, this. I like the fact that they're calling it Superman. I, I, I gotta say, I, I gotta say, I I've never been a fan of the trunks on the outside. 
All right? Get the fuck out of here. 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 Come on, bitch. Hey, hey, type in your fucking Vegemite eating emo moves, motherfucker. We're producing more emus to send over there. Yes. Never look good. You're high. Actually, Kick Shad. Kick Shad. Kick Shad. Kick Shad. I think Shad. I think Shad's actually the source of that AI image. That looks fucking great. Great. That yeah. looks yeah. fucking great. great. That yeah. is an yeah. awesome uh, costume. Well, yeah. Like the idea of that, yes. The way it looks, no. Well, um, yeah, yes. The, the no. design of it is great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's what uh, I, execution I, I is TV I think quality. Superb. I think this looks fucking. Brilliant. Yeah, I got no fucking problem with it. Y'all wrong. Like, I'm sorry. Trump's man. Like, Shut up! Oh, oh, get, what what modern, modern audience? I want a Superman suit right. for modern right. audiences. Yeah. Right, right, right. The Superman is supposed to be an alien, right? Okay, his suit is supposed to be. An what alien aliens don't wear underwear? Those, <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> Look, I love the S. I love the belt. I love the cape. The trunks just Dude, never Chad, do Chad, he looks fucking naked without the trunks. It's fucking stupid. There's a reason I, they I, put there's a I reason agree. the artist put it there. Uh it's fucking ridiculous. And you're just wrong. The poll's wrong. Everybody's wrong. Yeah. You're fucking wrong. Uh, you're, you're not a comic book fan. Uh and, and <laughs> I, I get out think of here. What we end up seeing is going to be close to that image, just with the slightly different logo and the more muted colors. But I do think he's mm -hmm. going to have trunks. Uh, I do too. In this one, I let's, go. let's go. I hope so. they, they feel pretty good. I can confirm it right now. Yeah, there you go. And, and I agree with Jeremy. Modern audience, you might as well put a black lesbian in that fucking suit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it you know, you know, white straight outdated. men. White it's straight white men are man. kind of outdated. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's in black transgender? <laughs> uh, going back to uh, the whole James Gunn thing, but like, I think he's going to continue to do dumb shit like this. Oh, of course. Gonna, I. I He's such a douchebag, man. I really don't like him. Like, I, he's a very unlikable person. I, I do. I like his movies, and I'm still somewhat. Ex I'm very excited to see what he's going to do with Superman, based on the fact that I've liked a lot of his movies. But he is just a douchebag, man. I really don't like this guy. Well, I, for one, it's a Superman movie with a bunch of other characters that he said are not cameos, so they're going to be somehow woven into this film. And a, if That's he pulls lot, it off, man. great. I, if, if I'm wrong fucking awesome this has to be yeah. the best superman movie ever made it has to make a billion dollars and it really has to make make a billion dollars uh ryan did a video on this earlier uh based yeah. on the budget of this film that's been reported oh, no. so it, somebody's lying by the way go on ryan yeah again this is really it got pushed to the forefront because james gunn responded to it yes but there was an article that came out from like columbus business journal or something that was Strictly talking about how many jobs is about to bring to Ohio because they're going to do a lot of the filming in Cleveland, in Ohio, stuff like that. Like 25% of the movie is going to be filmed in Ohio. And in that was the total production budget in that little report from this little fucking Columbus Business Journal thing. And somebody's like, hey, James Gunn, this thing says the production budget's $363 million. Is that true? And he's like, absolutely not. Why do they think they'd know our production budget? Blah, blah, blah. Um, well, as it turns out, it's got it's derived from a link on the government website because in order to get the tax credits from the state of Ohio for filming there, you have to fill out a bunch of shit. So either James Gunn is lying or the people at Warner Brothers that filled out the, this tax credit thing are lying about the production budget for the movie because it does show $363.8 million is the total Woo! production budget for Superman Legacy. Jeez. All the way down there at the bottom, you can see um, and this is all based on them filing this in order to get a tax Pay credit. Them. So, <laughs> I mean, I would guess I would guess that by the end, based on all the different places they film with tax credits, they'll probably bring that down to like three hundred million ish, right? Oh, I think that's a, a solid estimate. But that's what we're talking about now: yeah, a three hundred million much. dollar budget for this movie. And it's way too much. And at, at three hundred million, you have to make a billion to break even. You just yeah. yeah. If this film fails, I'm gonna be pretty much checked out of this DC reboot. It's riding on that film. I don't that's care about the authority. Funny. I don't care about yeah. a super, it, you need a nail Superman, right? And if you don't. It's not going to work. And it's I, we, I was saying this years ago when, when this whole thing was falling apart with DC and we knew we were going to get a boot. I said, just make one good fucking film. Right. Stop with this stupid fucking multiverse. We're doing an eight-year plan, a five-year plan, a 58-fucking-year plan. 
Shut the fuck up. Have you fucking heard yourselves? You've had absolute bomb after bomb after bomb for nearly half a decade now in both DC and in Marvel. And you're talking about planning out all these fucking cinematic universes. You're living in fucking La La Land. That's exactly where you are. How about you start by making one good movie? Make a good movie. Make some money. See what works in it. See what people gravitate towards. That makes too much sense. See where you can tight things up. To see what you can dump and then take it from there. Wait three years, then release your next film, whatever it may be. Another character in that universe that you potentially could possibly, but you're not actually tied to necessarily bringing them in together. Do something like that. Use your fucking brain because this thing is on the, it's not on the downward trajectory. It's off a cliff. It never was on a cliff. cliff. It, It never got to the top of the cliff. And the problem is, you released all these flops before your reboot, yeah. which does overall yeah. damage to your brand. So yeah. the normie's just going to think it's a it's it's connected to Flash. It's connected to Blue Beetle. What Shad said is right. It's going to have to have legs because, like, I, I you know, there's going to be hype amongst nerds, but like, it's two years from now. It's two years from now. A, and a year su- and a half. Yeah, a year yeah. and a half. And the superhero brand overall mm-hmm. is damaged. It's absolutely damaged. Yeah. I'm kind of in the middle of, of what Az said. I do think like when you set out to do these things, you should have a plan. However, I don't think that every single movie has to be intricately leaking, linking all these things together. I think you should have a plan for what you want to do with your universe like when you set out to do it. I think the pe- thing that people are so tired of is that everything seems to be have this desire to link to everything else in the universe because I feel like Maybe that's what the studios think the audience expects mm-hmm. now. What I mean is, yeah. let's say you want to make a connected DC universe. You make one good Superman film. And you, you extrapolate off that. You make one good and Iron Man you, film, yeah. Yeah. and you extrapolate and you off that. And they don't necessarily have to connect. You know, no. we had... We had, we had uh, they can't do that. Uh, as the Christopher E. Th- Superman, we had the uh, Michael Keaton Batman... And they didn't link together. There was there was an idea once upon a time, but they didn't link together. They were their own entities. Here's why idea. it's impossible to make something good because within that corporate structure, he needed to plan. And I'm not making excuses for him. He could have said fucking no, but he needs like how many fucking movies have been announced that the titles have changed, the release dates have changed, uh, because it's just to satisfy investors. So we're in this corporate culture where they have to make widget and it's all got to like, by the way, no cinematic universe has worked outside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe for real. Like since that, since the Correct. cinematic universe thing, none of them have fucking worked and none mm. of them will work because the Marvel oh. Cinematic Universe, as as just stated, started out with one fucking movie. And you know what you did? You did a solo adventure with the comic book origin and the motherfucking character looked like the comic book character. And mm-hmm. now they can't do it. Now the first Superman movie's got to have fucking the you know the wrong fucking okay, Green Lantern. Share, share this yeah. thing. Share this thing. Yeah. Oh, so, Ta-Nehisi Coates? Is this a what? No, no. Oh no, they still got that going. By the way, <laughs> he just saw a black man and thought Ta-Nehisi Coates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a small. It's on the screen. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. My cousin. <laughs> once you do, it's like once you do Lawrence Fishburne as Perry White, it's like they can't make him white. They're again. stuck. They're yeah. stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I, I actually liked Lawrence Fishburne, and I, I, I actually, I actually like Wendell Pierce, uh, to be honest. And I actually think in that type of role, he'd actually be pretty good. But at least, at least Jimmy Olsen is uh, looks like he's gonna have freckles, yeah, maybe red hair. Well, how much, yeah. how, much, Jimmy Olsen? Movie? Mm-hmm. how much screen hey. time? How much screen time is he gonna have with fucking Hot Girl and fucking Green Lantern mm-hmm. flying around? I mean, it's like <laughs> right. when Iron Man came out, they ended that movie, and you saw Nick Fury can't come in and say Avengers Initiative. It was amazing to think about that because we'd never had something so connected like that. So it yeah. was. It got the audience invigorated into like, whoa, the next movie, what's that? What's the next movie? And then it, we just kept going from there. At this point, it's so oversaturated mm-hmm. that the opposite Novelty's would gone. be the same. It would yeah. be the yeah. same. If you watch a movie and there's no connection to anything else, it'd be like, holy fuck. Yeah. Did we just watch a Superman movie? I'm playing yeah. Andrew Andrew <laughs> Justice League. Oh, fuck off, that, man. That's why, I really like, that's why I really like Joker, because I thought it wasn't going to be connected to anything else. Now there's a Joker, mm-hmm. too. I know. Yeah. NerdRotic.com. Please subscribe. Hey, if you like what we do here at Nerd Rotic Daily, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you could do that with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I do.